It's EQX with Keller, very special guests. We have Borns. Welcome, sir. Borns. How you doing? Doing well. We have some of your bandmates, Connor and Misty, as well. Misty, you look very home at our EQX piano. Yes. So we've been pretty uh, excited about your music pretty much since we heard it. I know our listeners would love to hear some of the stuff they've gotten to know very well over the radio. So, sure. Borns, what would you like to tackle first? Uh... Yeah, let's do American Money. So we don't have to tune the old lady. No, it's all good. Okay, here we go. Um, yeah. Mm -hmm. I was there when you fell from the clouds And landed in the desert There was a thunder inside of my heart there was a wonderful pleasure in like a stallion racing the rain. You rode on the back of my bike. I knew from the song what you would say. You were my love for life. Ah, oh, there's no time to sleep. with American Money, another one from Dopamine here on the EQX House Sessions. So I just caught wind that your band um, later on in the fall is going to be playing with the Lumineers. Yeah. Nice. How, do those, how do those things come together? Do they reach out to you and you just get a surprise email one day or is it something you are a fan of and you lobby for? Um, that 
one in particular um, just kind of came up randomly. Um, and uh, <clears throat> and we jumped on it. Um, so I don't know. Um, they all kind of come up in different ways, I feel like, um, as far as like tour, tour supporting, touring, that kind of stuff. Yeah. Sometimes it's just like you run into them at a festival or something and you exchange info and then they're going to her and you're going to her all of a sudden, you know? So it's just it happens pretty naturally, I feel like. So, yeah. You know, I guess that's, that's a great thing. You just never know, especially in a positive way, when somebody's talking about you and you're just going about your day and then all of a sudden someone acts on it and right. life happens like that. Yeah, yeah, exactly. So what else would you like to perform for us today? Uh, let's see. What do you think? All right. Um, so Emerald Pools, yeah. I like when instruments are kind of, you know, you got to work for them. Yeah. Got to whip them into shape. Ah, ah, ah. Isn't that right, Mendelssohn? Yeah. Yeah. here at the EQX house sessions. It is Keller in the midst of this performance. The album is Dopamine. It is out tomorrow night, Upstate Concert Hall in Clifton Park. And it's nice to meet you in person. We've done a couple of phone interviews before. Right. And one of the things that stood out was uh, talking, especially there's a couple parts in Electric Love that are these little layers, like little textures in the song that sometimes become little signature parts of the song. And I remember talking to you about even some of the music um, 
I think we both like some of the 70s music, like the Bee Gees or Electric Light Orchestra, mm -hmm. where they really did some magical things in the right. studio. So in any of the songs you work on, are those little pieces, do they provide the inspiration for the song, or is the song done and then you add a little something later? Um, I, I feel like a lot of times it's always kind of like establishing a foundation of a song and then and then adding nuances, yeah. But sometimes the nuances come out accidentally or um, or just like following another uh, instrument or something like that. Um, is there anything that sticks out to you? That's yes. like a, like a In Electric Love, it, it almost sounds like a, a whistle or this is gonna sound a little corny, but like if a shooting star could make a sound, uh -huh. I feel like really. No, 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 I like that. I feel vulnerable. No, I just no, told I... you what a shooting star sounds like. But it's it may not show it. up in this sort of stripped down version, but yeah. that's what I picture and I think, is that something that gets added in later? Because it works. Right, mm, interesting. Um, you know, uh, we don't have the star machine here. Um, but you have a microphone if you want to add it in. I'm just kidding. Um, You're like, oh boy, I need to practice my shooting star sounds first. Yeah, for sure. You can probably do it on that organ. Yeah, there's a lot of stuff on. to play with a lot down of here. In here. Yeah. That's for sure. Um, but that is one of those parts where okay. I think just gotcha. as someone who loves to listen to music, you for pick sure. up these little things and you wonder, when did they come in to yeah, the song? Yeah, no, definitely. I think Tommy and I, Tommy English produced that song. He, he produced uh, um, all of the album, um, excluding 10,000 Emerald Pools. But we always, we're always adding in little nuances and stuff i think we both enjoy music that you're always noticing new things um and they're kind of hidden in the track um and uh and we kind of yeah just add a bunch in and then take take a lot away we're also as much as we're putting in i think we're taking out too we're like does that need to even be in there no the things that people never hear that were almost in it, it. yeah yeah you know it's, well, we're here live with Borns and his bandmates, Connor and Misty. Can we do one more? For sure. All right. Let's do it. Let's do a uh, campfire version of Electric Love. All right. One, two, one, two. Electric love 
You know, we really appreciate you guys coming here and setting up camp and, and playing something different for, you know, our audience who gets to hear a, a whole different version than what Absolutely. they normally hear is really, I think, kind of a special thing. So thank you. Yeah, our pleasure. And one more round of applause for Borns. Yeah. All right. All thank right. you. We'll see you there. Nice. Sat on my face, maybe had a really good time. 